Hello friends, this is a toy NFT template that you can download on my Gumroad page. There will also be the link in the description. And today I decided to make some glasses for our toy face. Well, in general, if you just meet any NFT collections that are kind of in the PFP world, you would always have a character with some sort of glasses. And uh, there are so many right, of, of the types, and especially in CryptoPunks, you can see a lot of uh, different um, you know, style of glasses. So the three, there, there are 3D glasses, then there are the shades and all those things. So let me just switch to the normal modeling view as we are used to and uh, i'm gonna create a new collection here <clears throat> that i'm gonna name the attribute and this is gonna be the accessories and let's add another collection sorry for this uh, administrative work and we're gonna name it glasses and we'll see which one's gonna be all right so um this is just a total freestyle so let's go with shift a and we're gonna add a circle, um, beautiful circle just being added. And we're gonna go to the edit mode, pressing tab, R for rotation, but lock it in the Y axis. And press 90 on your keyboard and then press enter. Right now it's just hidden in the head, but if we press G, we can move it all around. And we can lock, also lock it in the axis and move it forward so it's in front of the face because we want the glasses to be in front of the face and not in the head, obviously. And let's go to number three, the side view, as to scale. And let's just move it inwards like this. Right, the idea is this is, this is gonna be just one part of the, uh, the, 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 the glass. Uh, so now we're gonna tap out. What I really like about the Blender is uh, having all the modifiers. So let's just add a modifier. And we're gonna add the mirror, right? Because we don't want to repeat ourselves if we create just you know the second part or the second half of the eye. So um, first we're gonna um, pick the mirror object, which is gonna be the head, obviously. And then um, let's see what, what it does if we press G and move the glass. I'm gonna look in the Y axis and position it right away. Um, in front of the eye and I think and I believe that if we press this and yeah just disable the X and we're just gonna with the Y axis we're gonna yeah we, we already have the the second um, <laughs> circle mirrored here so I just tap into the edit mode again and now if you scale it you can see that it's being repeated on the other side which is uh, so awesome and that's exactly what we wanted so uh, with this in mind now we can do a lot of things so let's uh, let's let's see what we what, what, what we can do so first of all let's um, go to the uh, front view which is this one and I'm gonna tap out and mod and, and just press G X and to and just yeah, I'm just gonna move uh, you know that the glass is um, more um, close to the head and the eyes so i think yeah, let's do this around here it's enough so this is how it looks right now uh tap into the edit mode i'm gonna see yes, the uh, front view i'm gonna uh, extrude with e i'll lock it in the uh, x-axis and just drag it so we would like make yeah let's make some really thick ones you know like this uh, at this point, uh, we can use another modifier, uh, and that's gonna be the solidify. Let's see what it does. Oh my god, we can already get a volume for the glasses, right? And uh, if we increase the thickness, we, if we, if we, we make it really, we can make them really thick and, uh, you know, kind of nerdy. <laughs> um, oh, so I don't know, this is probably more LA, it's a hipster style. And again, um, the blender is, is great in this, you know, you don't probably need to model at all if you think about it. And let's try to add the, uh, the bevel. Oh my god, look at that. It's already really looking good, right? And so we don't, we, we, you don't need to make it this edgy. We can make more segments to make it more round, right? So this is probably really cool already. And uh, believe me or not, we're going to try to add another modifier. That's the subdivision surface. This one just makes everything smooth. And I just call this a smooth, a smooth, 
<laughs> smooth modifier. So yeah, this is already pre looking pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna tap out and let's also right click on the uh, the mesh and uh, click on shade smooth. And now it's just perfectly smooth. So we already get, uh, we already you know have basically <laughs> all we wanted, right? The, the hardest part, but obviously. And um, all right, so. Uh, right now, I think that it would be cool to add some sort of, um, you know, there, there needs to be something that connects those two uh, rings. So I'm going to shift A and I'm going to add a cylinder. I think 32 is really enough. Uh, let's just, yeah, let's just go straight a bit, scaling it. G, X, position it in front of, uh, you know, the face again. I'm going to rotate it in the... Uh, uh, in the what is that in the x-axis and it's gonna be nine zero again let's just scale it again just to make really small um, you can also do this in the edit mode but at this point it doesn't really matter it's, it's just uh, you know really um, basic joint of uh, the glass and now I got to do uh, so side view with the number three uh, tap into the edit mode I'm gonna scale it in the y-axis and just gonna make it long so it just connects and we'll connect hopefully two of those rings. Number one, tap out to the normal mode, G, X, and let's just move it so it's exactly in the middle, mm -hmm. like this. Voila. We can again um, add a subversion surface to just make sure that it's gonna be. No, 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 let's not add that one. I think it's gonna be enough if we tap out, uh, sorry, to the object mode and just the shade smooth. Yeah, so far so good. I think we'll just keep it like this. Obviously, we can we can also bend it and do all the. Oh, let's bend it by the way. Let's let's see if I can do it. Um, okay, so the way I would do it would be just tap into the admin mode. Uh, then I would uh, probably just make the cuts with the control R, and we'll just add, let's say, um, some significant amount, like let's say this, escape and. Um, Right now we can go yeah again to the just make sure that we are in the precise uh, side view. I would just um, yeah go to the uh, no not this one the uh, yeah the X-ray view yeah the X-ray view and then let's just pick or oh, let's say those um, yeah those yeah, this segment of uh, <laughs> this tube of ours and then I would hit uh, this um, proportional editing. Uh, now, if I press G, I can move it um, all around, but if I adjust with the mirror, uh, sorry, I'm going to press G, and now I can adjust the circle, right, with this, uh, with my um, wheel on the mouse, I can adjust, uh, you know, the, the radius of the influence of the proportion editing, so you can see now that uh, as the, you know, the circle is really small, it's going to just affect um, the vertices, um, you know, close or inside that circle. If I make it big, you can see that it's just going to influence all of them at once. And so we, we want that. We want to include, yeah, we want to move all of them at once. And I'm just going to look in the Z axis and voila, let's just make it curvy like this. This is already really interesting and nice looking, right? Okay. Um, so I'm going to switch off the extra view. I'm just going to G and move it closer to the nose. All right, so yeah. So basically this would be uh, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, something that is worth having already, right? So at this point you, you could already kind of end, uh, but let's go further and let's make some, uh, yeah, let's make some, um, yeah, the, I don't know how to call it, but just something that would just go and, uh, I think it's the, um, yeah, the handle, sort of. Okay, shift A again. And this time I'm gonna add a circle again and let's speed it up a little bit. So G, X, move it in front, tap, rotate X, nine. Okay, nine, I think I'm gonna turn off the proportion. Editing uh, R, nine, zero, X. I'm gonna scale that. Mm -hmm. Side the uh, front view and let's oh sorry I tap out to the object mode and let's just position it again around this position number three side view G Y and let's move it to the sides. Mm -hmm. Number one, we, we need to make it smaller so it's connecting <laughs> to uh, the ring and tap edit mode S 
and let's start around yeah with this size so it's cool already all right and i'm gonna go to the top view seven i'm gonna extrude that and i'm just gonna extrude straight away to the side just maybe this angle yeah let's just make this make make it this angle probably cool and now we can extrude it again this time we're gonna um, rotate it sorry okay okay let's extrude again i lock it in the y-axis like this then we're gonna rotate it well let's try the proportional rotation oh this is cool this is really cool i like it okay so let's uh oh let's do 90 degrees enter extrude it again lock in the x-axis and voila we just hit <laughs> the here so all right so this is exactly what we wanted to achieve right and i just tap out from the object mode g and let's just move it a little bit up like that it is going to be very nerdy actually <laughs> one day <laughs> okay um okay, to the edit mode front view uh, x-ray view i'm gonna select these points i'm gonna move them g y and let's just move them forward so they touch the glasses all right uh-huh mm -hmm. so let's get back and again we're gonna use the uh, mirror modifier you can see that now it's put kind of funny the way it's just <laughs> mirroring and um let's select the mirror object to be the head again i believe all right and now you get the second hand now oh, this, this is really cool right not the thing i hope you, you do uh okay and let's also shade it smooth and it's smooth okay i think i'm gonna move this also a little bit up so it's kind of you know in the same almost at the same level as uh the handles again we can see that we are missing some some parts in, in the side so let's go to the extra view again select those holding shift select the other i'm gonna press um i think it's gonna be scale and y axis and just gonna drag it outside like this and voila okay, okay cool i'm gonna switch back to the shading view oh my god look at those glasses um I know they look very basic, but I like them. So I'm going to select everything. Oh, this actually doesn't really work in Blender, but anyways, uh, we need to add the materials separately to each. So I'm going to create a new material, name it a... Let's um, no the glasses. No, it's there. They're hipster. We agreed to, to hipster glasses, right? Enter, and let's change the base color to... I'm going to go with... A blue I think it's gonna be dark blue you know black is black is really boring okay so this is this is the color select the joint and again just choose the hipster glasses select the other no not new one and let's see select the hipster glasses and voila so so hipster right <laughs> so this this would be this would be the glasses uh, and let's render so this is it does it look nerdy or hipster thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video tongue is out